Hello, everybody, and I hope all is well. Today, we're going to talk about allowed countries in Magento, specified countries, uh, places uh, where you can uh, have the flexibility to ship to or disallow. Magento comes with some native uh, uh, support here, tools that uh, you can use to limit what countries uh, you don't, what countries you would like to allow. Uh, so when somebody goes in the drop-down menu, check out, uh, you're not shipping uh, to the Czech Republic when you <laughs> uh, don't ship to the Czech Republic or uh, to any other specified country. So what I mean is this. If you go to the drop-down menu at checkout, you're given many countries to choose from. You know, But what if you don't ship to Yemen, D.C.? So it's important that you straighten this out so you don't have somebody, just given the reach of the World Wide Web, it's important that you straighten this out and only allow the countries where you actually ship to so you don't end up getting an order and having to ship, uh, pay more in shipping than what the item is actually worth, okay? So to do that, you have to go to, there's a few ways to do this, but the best way is just to do it, take the universal approach to it. Uh, and disable the countries from the general, the configuration settings. So you want to go system, and you want to go configuration, and then you want to go general. Let this load here, and then you want to go to the general tab, okay? Actually, sorry. <laughs> That's the general tab for an extension. The general tab is right here. Okay, the Magento general tab. Then you want to go to countries, country options, okay? As you can see, by default, Magento has all the countries of the world selected. So you only want to choose uh, the countries that you ship to. So for this particular store, the default country is the United States, but we have to select it again. So we ship, in, with this store in particular, it ships to Canada and the United States. So go Canada, and then if you're using a Mac, you want to hit Command to select again, hold it down, and then look for the other country. In this case, it's the U.S. As you can see, it's here. And you want to let go of the, the Command button. If you're on a PC, you want to use Control, and you have the two countries selected. As you can see here, one and then two. Once, you don't have to worry about any of this. If it applies to you, by all means. Okay, if you live in the European Union, you want to, you know, select the uh, countries uh, you, uh, wherever your store is, okay? So none of this applies to you. You don't have to fill this out. Allow these countries, okay? Or the country that you're, uh, where you ship to. Okay, so you just want to make sure those two are highlighted. You want to save this configuration. So you want to go system, actually you want to check it, so check your work. So remember before, in this old page here, in the checkout page, the checkout one page, as you can see all the countries are selected. So now when we go and we refresh this page, we just go here, come back here, uh, continue actually, we check it, so you just reload the page. Continue, and as you can see, United States and Canada. The United States is selected because this is the default country, so it shows up here, okay? So Canada, the actual provinces will show up. So that's it. Thank you very much. If you like this video, you can subscribe to our channel and also follow us at GoPryWeb on Twitter. Thank you.